Hi, in this video we are going to make a simple navigation drawer just like this. So let's get started. So let's start by changing the dependencies. Now we will open the Gradle file. Here you can build Gradle file. You can add. Now just copy this part, implementation app compact, and paste it here. And uh, change the app compact to design. And uh, then sync it. It will take some time. Now after that, come to the activity main .xml file and uh, change your layout from constraint layout any layout which is to draw layout and uh, give it an id done and uh, then i will add other layouts like frame layout which will be my main layout this one and it will be match parent height also match parent and then i will add the navigation view hit enter and uh, width will be wrap content for the width and height will be match parent this one let's make it self closing given an id now what we will do is we'll add a directory to what item will be shown well we will drag the navigation drawer for that we will have to add a new directory to our resource file just right click on it and add android resource directory click on it here the resource type go to menu directory name menu we are fine with it and click ok here you will see a menu file menu directory is created now we will create a drawer file so just right click on it and uh, click menu resource file here type your drawer view and hit enter here you will see a different dot xml drawer view dot xml file will be created go to the text and start by making group define a group checkable behavior android and you will see the checkable behavior and set it to single why we are setting it to single that's because when you will select an item when you will click on an item it will appear something different maybe different in color or different in uh, the padding or something so we will be able to see that that's why now add items item I will add title title you can choose anything like compose or import I will use import give it ID ID nav import uh, start closing back item title we are going to add some of the things that we will be able to see 
uh, gallery and ID again slideshow and uh, ID uh, this will be enough now what we are going to do is we are going to add the header we will drag it when we will drag our navigation drawer there will be a header file here that we will see so how we are going to do it we are going to create a new layout in our layout resource just right click it and click on the layout resource file name it header view or something that you want here change your layout or you can keep it the same I'm gonna change it let's put it linear and add a text view so we'll be able to see wealth will be match parent height will be wrap content title oh sorry text I'm gonna hit give it title my header title and uh, background the primary would be good now we are going to add theme Android then theme and uh, I will use theme overlay this will be good now the background I will use color primary dark maybe uh, I don't mind those voices these are just my discord messages now change the width so that we can see it we don't want to drag the things like this we don't want to see our header file like this to the match print we just want to see it uh, maybe here so we'll change it this would be good and uh, maybe I have changed the wrong one match parent would be worth and uh, I'm gonna change height you can change the text color here also like I'm gonna give it white or You will not be able to see that, so we will increase the size, text size, twenty SP or something. We will add the padding too. Maybe ten speed would be good. Uh, we have done most of our things like header view dot xml everything we have created almost everything now it's time to do the programming in java it's pretty simple when you have done all the things 
that were necessary you have defined the ID you have defined the IDs here also oh one more thing so I'm going to add the menu and header layout so app menu menu directory and draw view which we have created here and then header layout header view so now you will be able to see these things but we don't want to overlay so we will use gravity layout gravity Android layout gravity equals start so why I have you start instead of left uh, that's for the right to left languages you see uh, there are many languages which are from right to left so for them the navigation drawer will appear from here now let's move on to the Java file here I will define draw layout navigation view and then I will typecast it so private draw layout draw layout I'll name it my draw layout and the navigation view my navigation view uh, let's typecast draw layout first let's find view i r dot id dot uh, you can always see the id from here my draw layout semicolon or you can also do this instead of doing this separately r dot id dot nav view now we will apply the listener to my navigation view uh, it's just like when you apply for the buttons the click listeners on button click listeners it's same as that but we are going to use the navigation listener so my navigation view dot set navigation item selected listener now type new navigation and click enter you will see a bunch of these things so don't be afraid just right click hit enter and uh, item what is this item it's this variable item dot set checked true that means it is going to give you the output that means which is checked and then I'm going to close the drawers I mean when I have clicked when I click one of these the draw will close automatically so my draw sorry my draw layout dot close drawers and it's done you will set the return to true and it's done done now we will run our program and we'll check whether it's true or not we have done everything right okay let's check it out uh, it always takes some time so I'm going to skip that part so now you can see our app is launched and let's drag it here you can see the navigation drawer and you can also see what I have clicked that means which item had selected so that's it for this video 
in the next video we will add the icons here and a navigation button also if you like this video make sure to thumbs up and for more videos you can subscribe the channel thanks